Hello, Ken Weller here with New Tech Inventors. And today I want to show you one of our latest additions to the Helping Hand. This is the adapter. It's called a FlexArm Camera Adapter. And it goes into the Helping Hand. It has a camera on the end that can be adjusted to different angles. And I have one hooked up now. To this laptop. Let me scoot this thing out here where you can see it a little bit better. And this is one of the, this is the heavy duty table mount that is a lot stronger for mounting tablets and a lot of additional attachments. If you have a lot of heavy attachments rather than having the swivel or the scissors arm that has trouble maintaining that weight and without oscillating, this stand here provides a lot more stability. Now, if you look at it close, you'll see that I put two flex arm attachments in here, a clamp and an LED light that I can turn on and off. I also have the tablet mounted up here. This is a, just a standard 10 inch tablet that I purchased from Walmart for about $60, I believe. 60 or $65. Anyway, and we have the little camera, USB camera app in there. Now, our camera is on the end of this flex arm. So as you can see, we can adjust it in different positions so that we can look at our printed circuit board. And if we, we can add light to it, if it's too dark, we can use our light or we can use the light on the flex arm camera itself. It has a built in LED light. Actually, I believe there's six LED lights on there. So, again, you can see what it looks like without any lighting. And then when you turn the light on, you can see much better. And we're looking at a little Arduino board right now. Okay, now... Let me cut that light down because I've got some glare on there. And I use my light. I get plenty of light from it, almost too much again. I actually designed, came up with it to help myself because I'm having more and more trouble seeing these small locations on these circuit boards and being able to get in there with tweezers and stuff or soldering irons and do any kind of intricate work. So I thought, well, if I use this camera and learn to look at the screen, I can do like a lot of these surgeons do nowadays where they go in with cameras and do surgery on people without actually looking into the person. They're using cameras like this and watching a display and they learn to use their tools and coordinate movements and stuff with, by looking at the screen. Now this configuration the helping hand has two LED lights on it. It has a clamp that's holding the board. It has the flex arm camera. It has three other clamps that aren't even being used over here. But this was just to give you an example of some of the capability and some of the configurations that you could come up with if you did need more clamping or more lighting and so forth. 
And then, of course, you have your mount up here with the uh, tablet giving us the display. You can see the board here, but then you can see the magnified version of it from the camera view showing different parts of it. So you've got that on your tablet, which looking at the tablet gives you a lot better view of the board than physically looking at it because it's a very small board. But up here, you can see the difference. So that's the helping hand with the flex arm camera. And this time we're displaying it on a tablet. This can be an iPad or any 7, 10 inch, 8 inch tablet. Okay, and to give you a little idea of the flexibility of this, I can also take my cell phone, which is a smaller screen, plug it in. I've got the app on it too, and I can see that. Another thing, you can record what you're doing with these things. You can record it on your um, iPhone. You can record it on your tablet. You can record it on your computer and play it back later. This is the version that's showing you an electronic application. You can have a part just sitting on your table like this without a lot of light on it and then come up here and have this type of magnified display. It's really uh, versatile. You could have anything down here. You could be dissecting some kind of a frog or something and use this camera for that because you do have quite a bit of detail and a relatively good amount of magnification. Like I said, we put all of these clamps on here just to show you that there is a lot of additional capacity on the helping hand but for what we're doing in this example, all we would have needed would be this one flex arm camera and our tablet or our cell phone holder. And in this case, we're not really using these lights. So we could do it without all of these other accessories attached to it. I can actually plug this same camera into my computer and there's no way I can get this kind of a view with even a magnifying glass and work at the same time on this part so you can really amplify this thing and display it on any size screen you want for whatever purposes. Okay, we have our Arduino board clamped and held in place while we have our flex arm camera positioned to look at this one little section of this Arduino board here. And then we have some lights from our helping hand giving us some additional lighting there. And this way we can go in. We're actually connecting this camera to our computer, our PC, and displaying it on this large screen so we can see a lot more detail. I can look at this without my glasses on and then go in here with some utensils and I can see that there's a couple hair or fiber particles on the board 
and it looks like there's one right down in here. So what I'll do, I'll look at the screen. I'm not looking at the board. Go in and grab that fiber or that hair, whatever it is, and remove it from the board. And it looks like there's another one up here, right up in this area here. So I'm going to see if I can reach in there and grab it and pull it out. There, we got it. Okay, can you see that little fiber or hair that I've got? And we're removing that from the board. This is an example of how you can work on circuit boards. You can look at different things. You can take a probe in there or a soldering iron and look at the different connections and see if there's a solder bridge somewhere or a bad connection and work on these boards without actually looking at the board. Look at the screen and have a lot more accuracy. Okay, now we've moved the camera out a little bit farther. And you can see that uh, we can see more of the board now and the different connections on it. You can see that this Arduino board has an AT Mega 328P processing unit or processor on it and over here these are the I.O. ports so this is a little bit of what I've been working on it's coming up with this camera and you can have the camera the part for example can be clamped into this clamp and you can have the camera position it to uh, look at the bottom of the board if you need more light of course you can use your light but I don't think we need a lot more light on this thing so the camera can be used in a lot of different positions it can actually go down inside of a area and work that way but again the camera as you can see you can zoom in and look at your different connections here and look for solder connections and spec solder connections if there's small print you can read that so there's a lot of flexibility with using this camera and you can also record if you're, for example, you're down here and uh, let's say, for example, I'm going to remove the splinter or something from my finger, then I can actually record the process of doing that. See, I barely have a whole skin there. Here's a little better look at our Arduino board. You can see our digital inputs and analog inputs. It could be used in educational or instruction where you're trying to show people these things and want to use it to display certain small areas of this circuit board on a larger screen and they can even be projected to a large screen also. So those are some of the things. There's just going to be so many uses for this. We're going to try to come up with many of them and demonstrate them. So until the next time, happy printing from New Tech Inventors.